Well, we're inbound. The guru's at the pier. I was going to the cave, but we decided to go to the pier today. I'm going to pick up Denny. Do a little scoop comparison. Some people are, are want more information on his new uh, stealth scoop that Chuck makes. I got to do a little more in, in depth analysis. So we'll go along and we'll be in the uh, bay in about 10 minutes. We'll do a quick sh sh thing on this scoop while we're here in the nice sunlight. Weight wise, it's about the same as the M9. You can see it's a lot deeper, or I should say, you know, longer. Same width, I think. Maybe, I don't know what the, I don't have, I didn't bring my ruler, so I can't say how wide it is. But you can see it's a lot longer. This way. I like this new setup here, though. Some people are concerned about the wells right there only being four wells. I don't know if that's a, a lot of stress there anyway. All the stress is going to be back here when you pull back on it and you push down through here. That's why these stoops are so effective because of these little arms. But you can see this one's welded all the way around as is the uh, T-Rex which I'll show you in a few minutes when I run up with Kenny. Stand by. Well, the tide is made off a lot lower than I was expected. There's a guru right there. You see how low it is? That's Mr. Denny, inbound. There's the uh, stealth. There's the T-Rex. A lot of difference. As we get down here, you can see there's a fairly nice little cut here. I just stole the uh, stealth from uh, Denny. I'm going to give her a spin or two when I find something to dig. That is. Damn, he's already got another target. It's the second target. He found a pull tab a minute ago. Guru! What are you, what are you finding? Not much. Some coins and stuff. What, did you park down there by you said you were? Yeah. I mean, it's way the hell out down there. Yeah. I went. I, 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 I mean, you see that point? Yeah. I, I worked that way down, and but not much. Nothing way out. I don't understand that. <laughs> I, I've been calling my grand. Well, the first target for me with the stuff really loud. So I like a penny or a quarter. One half a scoop deep. Damn, I believe it's a pull tab. Funny pull tab, loud pull tab. I've never had a pull tab that loud in my life. Number two, number two's a screecher, worse than the pull tab. Not a little deeper. Damn, China. Right at that time. Ah, uh, 25 cents! Look at that, Taquito. Aquana. Big bunny! Loud number three, loud. Like a oh, big, big piece of gray matter. Shallow. Another pull tab. Ah, leaf. 
what's, what's going on here, neighborhood? Right now we got a junkie sound. Probably a piece of wire or a nail or something. But I want to try this stealth out in the water and see how it does. Not bad. And I do want to find out what this is. I know it's not anything any good. But I'm just practicing. Sounds like we got it. Yeah, just what I thought it was, a piece of junk. Nail. Screw, maybe. Got a screecher here. Got it, Screecher. Gray matter, gray matter. Egg sinker. You can see it floats pretty good. Because we all know it would float okay, but it does float nice. Another screecher. Damn. Where's all the low sounds at? Another gray matter. I dug a couple more gray matters. This one's kind of. This one's kind. This one. This one's kind of low. That's the reason I filmed this one. See what this is. Might be gray matter too. It just sounds that sounds a little different than the other ones. But you see, there's a pier right there. So there's a lot of gray matter around here. I think we got whatever it is. It's kind of deep here. Piece of aluminum. Ha! And I hate it. Look at that crap. There's another target right next to it, though. Let's see what that is. Oh. Must have been my scoop I picked up. Okay, back to the drawing board. I'm going to give Denny his scoop back. Hey! As I was giving him a scoop back, I got a hit. Right here. Loud hit.
Baby sinker. I guess that brass eye made it sound different. No, that's got a stainless eye in it. That's the fish house restaurant. Lynn Haven Fish House. Famous. Famous. Owned by a Greek fella named Kyrus. Water's nice and clear today. You know, my buddy Jonathan who hunts with us sometimes, he works in there as a chef, sous chef. Jonathan. Ah, Jonathan! Merry Christmas! Nice rock right here. Like a little slough that runs down through here, see it? Little rocks. I'm going to investigate this more. Got a fairly nice low sound here. I don't see anything. Orchard shell. Whatever it is, is in that fell through. It's right there. I can think. I think it's a swish and swivel. Let's see if we can pick it up with a big pile of sand. Fell through again. And we take it up here. And we'll find it. Come out of there, baby. There it is. Oh, it's a bullet. You don't find many of them around here. 22. Nice low sound here. I don't see anything. That's because it's still in the hole, that's why. Come out of there, you tickito. I don't like it now. I think it's just junk. Yeah, it's iron. No right out now. a nice low sound. Might be a bottle cap. It's iffy sound. Iffy but low. Not very deep. What I tell you. Fine bottle cap. Kind of a low sound. No, I don't like it. I thought it was iffy.
Oh, yes, another bottle cap. Yeah. You can see I'm right under the pier. Got a hell of a sound here, boy. I'm telling you. You couldn't draw this on paper and be any sound any better. Got it, whatever it is. Yeah, wonderful. Aluminum. <laughs> Bottle cap, I mean, a uh, screw cap mashed down, I think. Nice sound, nice, low sound. Can't believe it. Settle that fast. Uh oh, I see it. That little teeny piece right there. You see it? Look at that little thing. Right there. Ah, sound like a fit set piece. Got a big cut right there. Damn, sound like a bottle cap now. Sounded good at first. That's where them bottle caps are. Sometimes. Yeah, there it is. You see it? Turkey. Got a nice little cut slew right here. I'm going to go check it out. Stand by. Nice, nice low sound. I don't see anything. Must be a fishing swivel or something fell through. Well, I see it. It's another 22. Ah, where is coming from? God, oh, they sound good. I know that. Come out of there. Finally. A cruddy penny. Well, I dug a old pocket knife. Bad shape.
Nice low sap. to see that. It's a fishing swivel. No, it has some rust on it, is it? Way off there in the distance, those two condominiums. If I can zero in them a little bit. That's Great Matter City right there. Great Matter City. So we're hunting on the other side of the bridge. We're sticking around a little longer than usual because, as you can see, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. It's probably in the high 50s right now. Not much wind. Tide's coming in. That's where the waves are coming from. I think we're going to work up to this next little cut here and we're going to turn around. It's supposed to be really bad tomorrow. Cold and start raining tonight, rain all day tomorrow for Surf Church. I won't be able to hunt tomorrow, I don't think. But it's a nice damn day today, I can tell you that. Ah, lots of people fishing. Boats going in, boats going out. A lot of coal ships. One, two, three, four, five, six, I think. Stand by. I'm thinking a Christmas heater. Hey, how y'all doing? Good, how are you? <laughs> Haven't found any treasure? No, today's my first day out. I got this for Christmas. Got a Christmas heater, did you? Huh? Yeah, you do okay up here. It don't work very good in the day at sand. Yeah. But it worked fine up here. Oh, it will? Okay. Yeah, great up here. Once you get down to that dam where the sand gets wet, yeah. it don't like the salt. Oh. I read that. Yeah. See you later. All Find a lot of these. What, what is it? Pull tab. Pull tab, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's probably what I got right here. There it is, the bay nut. A fair amount of gray matter, nothing overwhelming. But it wasn't much of anything overwhelming. It's a lot of this and a lot of that. Not much clad. A couple of 22s. A couple of little swivels. A lot of those swivels were a lot, but three and a piece of one. Uh, two weird singers. I don't know. 
uh, everybody, you know, about, did about the same, I think. I think uh, Denny said he did have four dimes and a couple of pennies, but only one quarter. So, you know, you can't go by that much. It's just sheer blind luck. I ain't heard a report from the guru, so I don't know how he was making that. I should have a picture from Denny see what he found. And like I said earlier, Surf Church sounds bad. So we'll have to play that by ear like we always do. Good luck to everybody. We'll see you tomorrow, maybe. If not, Monday. Getting close to the 1st of January. Pretty close. Stand by.